What's up guys, this is Burrs, coming to you with a, um, a video about knife fighting or um, a lack thereof. Knife fighting is not glamorous. Knife fighting is not anything nice at all. It is very raw and dirty. I think there's a few people on YouTube conveying the message that Oh yeah, I carry this for self-defense, which, yes, you can carry a knife for self-defense. It does take a lot of knowledge and skill to use a knife the proper way. Um, and not just the proper way, but an efficient way. But more so over the knife skills is your skills and knowledge of how to engage someone that wants to uh, harm you. As soon as that person is coming towards you in the first place, you need to start thinking, um, what do I have to, uh, <clears throat> if this person um, doesn't listen to me, what am I doing, am I going here, what's here, do I have a wall here, um, is there a, 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 a more lit place, am I in a dark alley, um, is there a, a store I can go into, I mean, if I go around the corner, are there people there? Um, you have to start thinking about how to uh, get out of the situation. You don't want to come off as a sheep. I can't stress this enough. If someone intends to do you harm, you need to come off like you're the baddest motherfucker in the world. Okay? And what I mean by that is your body language, your tone of voice, your body language. Okay? You don't want to be like this. What? Yes. Oh. Okay. That is going to um, enable the other person to see you as a target. So what I would say is, if someone is a predator and they want to come after you, um, you have to understand what your boundaries are. How far are you going to let that person come in on you? If somebody... Um, and you have to be able to read body language to know um, how to engage someone. If someone's walking up to you and they visibly have a knife and they're 10 feet off of you and you see this, um, the first thing I tell you is to look at them, put your hand up and say, STOP! You want to come off like, um, you must have misread me, you don't know who I am. You know, if that person comes up to you and you say, STOP! You know, and they rethink it and they go, well, fuck you. And you go, no, you stay right where you are. You know, if you come off like that, and they got to rethink things and say, hmm, did I pick the right guy that I'm going to, you know, rob tonight? Or girl? Did I pick the right person? You know? And you can do all that without even drawing a knife. Uh, if you are wearing, if you have a knife. Or your gun. <clears throat> Before you escalate things, um, try um, tactics that are um, verbal or body language driven and if that person doesn't stop um, you're probably gonna hit level two which is that person wants to fuck you up um, if they don't initially blink or stutter step or do something after you yell at them something like stop, halt, um, um, and it's not just that you saying it, I mean you have to seriously, you have to be, you have to have authority when you're saying this, um, and it's something in the brain, psychologically, it's gonna cause them to stop and think, if they don't stop and think, then they're definitely planning on coming up to you and um, causing you harm, don't get your knife out initially, if you, if, if that person stops and you guys are kind of looking at each other like, what's up? And that person says, give me your wallet and they're far off of you. Once you pull out your knife, okay? Once you pull out your knife, you've immediately caused that confrontation to escalate. Any lunatic or anybody in the whole world can grab a knife and, and fuck you up. Okay? It does not take a lot to stab someone 
six to ten times within um, a five second period. Does it. And if you want to escalate that confrontation by getting your knife out and thinking that you're some kind of tactical fucking dojo master, um, then I feel as though that's going to heighten the, um, the confrontation. I feel initially that um, that knives just aren't the way to go for for self defense, initial self defense. If someone uh, is coming in on you and they take their knife and they're gonna come in you like this with a stab, the one thing you wanna probably do, if someone's coming in on you, for you to block that with one hand um, and not worry if if you're gonna get cut on your arm, you're not gonna worry about this. You're gonna have to go into a um, I'm gonna fuck your shit up and just kill you mode. You can't be happy, happy, joy, joy when uh, someone's coming up to you with a knife. Um, but uh, well, I can't really demonstrate totally just with one hand. But if someone's coming in on you, block that with one hand. You're gonna block it with one hand on the arm. And you're going to take this other hand and you're going to jam it up on their chin. So if they're coming on here, you're going to go, okay? This is going to stop them from getting anywhere that is way, way more um, critical than your arm, uh, number one. And number two, you're going to neutralize them initially. Um, and if you're, I guess, um, strong enough or whatever, you're going to at least stun them for a second. So once you have the person um, stunned, you want to get out of there, okay? You don't actually want to engage with the person that has the knife. Um, if they engage you, and say you use the attack that I just showed where you block and stun them, um, get out of there. Don't stick around. So I mean, stun them um, and get out of there. Um, but you better make sure that when you do decide to uh, strike that person because they've come in on you with a knife you better make sure what you do counts um, I can't stress enough that you have to get into the mindset that you are Rambo okay you just have to get in this mindset that okay I'm not Joe Smith that goes to uh, to my job every day you know and I send orders over to Sally and accounting and you got to get out of that mindset that isn't you at that moment okay you at that moment is this is Joe Smith and I need to survive and to survive I got to flip a switch in my brain well, I can't I can't stress enough that you have to be able to get into a mode of that person wants to kill you and it's either you or that person that's the mode you gotta get into if someone's attacking you. But I also stress that if you're in a knife fight and you're actually slashing and stabbing um, because someone else is, is doing you harm with the knife and you decide to draw your tactical knife uh, that you have in your pocket, um, it, it isn't gonna be pretty. There's gonna be blood flying, there's gonna be blood dripping everywhere and gushing and if you're actually engaged in a knife fight with someone where you're, you're just stabbing each other to death, uh, and that's what it is, you're going to stab each other to death. You guys are just, you know. I just think that there are people on, on here that it comes off as something that's really easy to do. Um, I see a lot of people that do, uh, the, like I said, the EDC videos. Um, and it's not the people that show what they have and what they carry. It's the people that are promoting carrying certain things for tactical purposes and defense purposes and I think they come off as um, if someone doesn't have any knife skills or doesn't have knives I think they come off as uh, you know oh, we'll go get a knife and I'll put it in your pocket and carry it around because you never know when you might need to use it um, so I'm just coming from the position of if you, if you do decide to get a knife, uh, first, 
knife fights suck. Um, you will come away from my knife fight. Um, at least anyone I've seen on YouTube that carries knives, at least, you know, 90% of the people that I've seen on YouTube that carry knives. Um, you're going to come away from a knife fight if the person engages with you and you're going to be all cut up and probably in the ER and all messed up. And I'm not saying I'm any better. Um, knife fights suck. I don't care how proficient you are, the easiest thing in the world is to stab someone. Just trying to give you some information to, uh, you know, if someone does intend to do you harm, which um, there are people out there that do, um, that you can maybe have a few more um, maybe ideas in your head based off of what I was saying. And uh, I don't know everything. Um, I just have a few thoughts in my brain that I just wanted to convey to the uh, subscribers of my channel and whoever else comes, up, comes across this video. And, you know, I also heard Roller Podger say in one of his videos that, and this is a very good point, um, if you decide to engage in a knife fight with someone and stab someone, um, you know, if you cut them and that blood, which I'm going to tell you, if you do decide to cut someone, it isn't clean, it's messy. If you do decide to, you know, stab someone, cut someone in self-defense, um, the blood, their blood, you know, get in your eye, get in your mouth, um, so you get cut and you, you know, you hit the blood, you, their blood can enter that way, um, you know, you don't know what disease they have. Um, so, that's another reason, and another thing to think about carrying a knife for self-defense purposes. One thing I recommend uh, is the Kimber Guardian Angel or uh, Pepper Blaster. I think it's like 30 bucks, $35. Um, that's one thing you can carry that's, um, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little bit bigger than a knife, but, uh, you know, it's a Pepper Blaster, and it will um, knock someone out, um, especially if they get within the range of a knife fighter wielder and you hit them with that and you run away there, there's I don't see there's any way that that person's gonna run after you after they get hit with that thing but uh knife fights suck that's all I'm gonna say knife fights suck so uh till next time later